Hello and welcome back to the Java, my Java tutorial series where I teach you how to do Java. Now this time, um, start. This is the first episode of a series that is um, not the same as my um, series for beginners, obviously. But seeing as Java 8 has Java 1.8 has come out um, well one or two weeks ago with uh, several new features and a lot of things changed. I thought it would come out with a short series dedicated just to teaching you all the. Um, new and different features in Java 1.8. Now, before we were normally working with Java 1.7, which is, you know, what I started out doing all this stuff on, but I'm going to slowly migrate to having everything in Java 1.8, so knowing what it does will be very important, it's important, especially for my future tutorials. Now, um, my last video was about how to program without an IDE, so this time we're not going to be using Eclipse like we normally do. We're going to be using just uh, your preferred text editor, um, command prompt or terminal, and I just got a folder up here, which is um, how I'm going to be uh, saving all these documents and, you know, my Java 8 workspace. Um, episode 1. So to start out, I'm just going to save this blank uh, text document as main. That's not how you spell main main.java I'll go in workspace episode 1 save so I have to type everything that's not how you do it type everything out out by hand yep my fingers don't know what they're typing that's a basic thing and if we wanted to as you remember from the last video we can just um, compile it just to start up with might be in the wrong folder. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Okay, now I can try to compile it. As you can see, in the folder main.java, done compiling, now there's a main.class. So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to make a new file, and I'm going to call it iReturn.java. And, um, to start out with the new features in Java 1.8, they made a lot of changes in and around interfaces. So I'm going to make an interface, public interface, I return. Now, if you don't remember what interfaces are, interfaces are just um, like classes, except you can't have any method bodies in them. And in order to use them, we would have to say implements I return. So in I return we can give it normal stuff. So let's just say we gave it a public void no public integer return int and it takes an integer x. And that's how you do an empty method body. So we can if we try to compile main right now, it'll give us an error because since it's implementing an interface, it needs to have that method in it. See? So if we just add this uh, public <laughs> integer return int, we can just say, let's just say return x. So now we can compile it, and there should be no compiler errors. Ta-da, it worked. Now that's how, um, how interfaces, you know, still work, but that's, you know, the classical usage of an interface. One thing that was added is that interfaces can now hold static methods. So, for instance, we can say public static is I return. And we can just say it takes an object. Let's just say public static boolean. We'll just return obj instance of I return pretty simple but before you could not have static um, methods in interfaces before what the Java framework in the internal Java libraries used to do was that they would have their interface class and then they would have another class that would basically be the exact same name except with an s or a plural or they would just name it something just slightly different and it would be a class except it would hold all the static methods for that interface and then the interface would be you know there being an interface but now you can put static methods in the interfaces which means you know it can really um, you don't have to make those nuisance of a classes to hold just static methods which is useful so for example let's just say uh, we 
you can just put that main main equals new main then we'll just do system dot out dot print line I return dot is I return and we'll just say new object so that should not be an instance of I return and then if we just say if main is an inch um, an instance of I return, which it is, since it's implement it's implementing I return, then it should print out true. So if we just compile this, and then we can just say Java main, and I'll say hello Java eight false because an object isn't I return, true and true because main is an I return. So that's just handy static methods. Now one of the um, larger things to go into interfaces is you can make functional interfaces so functional inter interfaces you have to have just one abstract method you don't have to but you can add abstract and you can add an annotation functional interface and that's it's like the at override annotation and it's just to make sure that um, this is a functional interface so it can only have one abstract method and it can have no other um, instance methods. I mean static methods are fine. So if we compile this then everything should be hunky-dory. Ta-da! Now functional interfaces will come in handy very soon. But before we get to uh, what you can actually use them for we can uh, I can show you something else. For this, we'll have to take away the functional interface because we're going to change this to default. Default is another keyword, which um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it used to be a keyword anyway. So it's it's not a new keyword, but it is new to interfaces because this means instead of having abstract method, you can actually declare a method body in the interface. So we can say return x. So now we can actually take this method away from the interface because since the interface has a default version of it, we don't need to overwrite it. So if we just compile main, everything should be fine. Even though it doesn't have the implementing method, this has a default. So if we ran uh, print line main dot return int 5, I think that works. So we'll just compile it and we'll run it and it should say that and it prints out 5 because the default way to handle that is to return x now since it is an interface we can still um, override it you can use your at override annotation like always but this time I'm just going to do it quick and this time let's return x times 2 so now since it's overridden if we just compile main and we run it, it'll return 10 because it's doing uh, that times 2. So that is about what they have for the interfaces of, regarding improvements. Now, um, knowing this stuff, especially the use of a functional interface, the functional inter interface we will definitely use in the next episode. We will be going over one of the most hyped. Um, portions of the of Java 8 which is lambda expressions which is which are pretty amazing once you know what they are because it's an excellent way to make um, instances of interfaces and um, yeah uh, pretty amazing so next episode we'll go over these uh, we'll go over the lambda expressions until then I'm Borella born and have a good day